Hello all you wonderful teachers and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed my interview video and I hope you enjoy my last two days of subbing for the 2017-2018 school year. So I still haven't heard any news back about the interview. Um, again, I think it went okay and we'll just kind of have to see how things go. Today I'm in a fourth grade classroom and it's been kind of rough this morning, but I think it should hopefully be a pretty easy day otherwise. She has, she's really organized. She has this um, little tool kit back here, which I think is really cool and colorful and pretty. Um, she has 28 kids in this class. One is gone, so there's 27. And it's a tiny room, so it feels like there's 27 kids here. Um, and it's a little end of the year whoops <laughs> it's the end of the year so we're reading um, what do you do with a problem today doing some stem project I've had to give some kids some reminders um, <clears throat> just need to cover up the name here but this is a behavior sheet I just want to make sure that there's nothing okay Yep, so this is a behavior sheet in case you're interested in what that might look like. There's two students who use that, and I don't know if they get some kind of reward or something for it, but that's what they use. Okay, so I just made it home and, you know, I like to be honest with you guys, but I also want to be politically correct um, and respectful to the teachers' classrooms that I'm in and the students that I work with. And so I think one of the biggest things as a teacher is just learning to have patience during a lot of my sub experiences, I learned so much about how important it is to have patience. And I think just being able to like take a breath and come out of the experience that I had today and just think about everything that happened and what I did and everything, I think it's just good to like stop and think about it before I start talking to you guys about it because obviously when I talk to you it's gonna be like oh my gosh it was such a horrible day blah 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 but like I don't want to have that mentality I want to have more of a reflective mentality of okay this happened and maybe why did it happen what did I do and everything like that so I will be honest it was a tough day <laughs> and I I think it's just it's at the end of the year and some of these kids I think there was maybe just not a great combo of kids that they put together and some of these kids you know it, it's crazy how big of a difference some of those behavior sheets like the one I showed you guys how big of a difference they make I mean it's just insane where you can kind of use that a little bit to say okay I've given you one reminder two reminders three reminders okay that's a sad face for this activity and I think it makes a really big difference. Well, I definitely recommend to you guys, if you have kids in your class who are, who have issues with behavior, I think starting some kind of behavior chart is really, really helpful. I think if I were to go back and redo my long-term sub, I might have started a behavior chart for the one student in my class who really needed it. In other news, talking about fourth grade, Guess who got an interview? Woo! I'm so excited. I don't even know why or how. I mentioned, so I told you guys last week that the I saw the principal and he was like, oh, what's your name? And I was like, oh, we've met before. And so I told him briefly that I had a long-term sub position in fourth grade. And right now there's a fourth grade position open that closes next week. And I don't know if that's the one he's 
interviewing for and hiring for if he has like two different ones open I guess I'm not really sure but he called me and the school doesn't have good reception that I was at today so long story short he left a message I called him back we have it scheduled for tomorrow which funny enough I am subbing there in first grade tomorrow so during the students recess I'm gonna be interviewing and then he said I don't know what's up with my air um, sorry um, he said that yeah during their recess I will be conducting an interview there which is really really lucky and fortunate on my part that I am working there tomorrow and it just all kind of fell into place so it's in fourth grade at this new school literally like a four, less than four minute drive from my house here and I'm really really excited I think it's gonna be a great opportunity especially after the first grade interview I felt like didn't go very well I can take everything that I talked about because I talked about my fourth grade long-term sub position I can basically take all that information and all the things that I learned and the answers that I used and stuff and just put it into the this fourth grade one I mean it's kind of funny because I don't even know if I applied for a fourth grade one I'm not really sure but anywho I'm really excited wish me luck guys and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow um, just to say a little bit more about this fourth grade sub today fourth grade subbing today um, yeah it was pretty tough but I think it's just tough because I'm a sub and it's the end of the year and yeah so I think um, going forward I've learned a lot from today that I can bring in even tomorrow for the interview and yeah I will talk to you guys tomorrow wish me luck Bye. hi everyone I'm in a first grade class today and I kind of looked out this morning and I got caribou coffee so that was nice I have my interview at 1130 and this will be my last sub job of the year crazy and then my last interview for a while since I'll be in Australia in a week. So, I'm nervous for the interview because I just heard from another teacher that the principal is over at another elementary school right now interviewing for the same position, which was the one I was at yesterday in fourth grade. Um, so, anyways, um, it seems like it should be a pretty easy day here in first grade other than the interview, so wish me luck. So I just finished my interview. Actually, it was a screening, not an entire interview. It was for fourth and fifth grade classes. <sighs> I just finished, um, and I need to head downstairs because my class is being watched by someone else right now so so after I got done with my interview I had to go right back to teaching so um, it's been a pretty great day this is a really really nice class and um, like I said I think the interview went pretty good because I just got done with a fourth grade long-term sub going into a fourth grade interview is like not too bad I didn't know though that it was a joint interview with another principal and she was looking for a fifth grade teacher so I don't know I didn't really plan for that but I think it works out either way I mean they're not that different so who knows although it was at the school that I was at sorry my hair is like crazy for some reason basically that means that I would be teaching some of those students that I had from my fourth grade class yesterday if I got that position so <laughs> um, but otherwise I'm kind of worried because I am going to Australia next week and that means that if they try to call me back and I'm in Australia I might miss that opportunity so at the end of this interview well screening I guess to be more specific it's not really an interview but it kind of is um, I told them that I'd be in Australia and when I would get back so um, hopefully 
it doesn't ruin my chances. I'm really nervous that it will, um, in like in the event that they did want to hire me, but then I'm not available to call or like go forward with things. So I'm kind of worried if it ruined my chances. I felt like it went well, but like the fifth grade teacher was like, oh great, like it was so nice to meet you. And the fourth grade or the fifth grade principal, the one hiring for the fifth grade position. Um, and then the fourth grade principal here at this school is kind of, there's a little left to be desired, I think. So overall, I feel like, I feel really lucky to have gotten these interviews, but I know that they were hiring other, or interviewing other people. I know a girl left right when I was coming in. So, you know, I'm not unique. I got this opportunity, which is great, something that I didn't have last year or last summer, but I, I don't know, I still have the feeling that I, I just, I'm not there yet, so hopefully I will hear something back, but if I don't, you know, it's just experience and something will happen that is supposed to happen to get me where I need to be in the future, so, all right, yeah. That was the interview. Um, some of the questions I will share with you guys included, um, how do you um, basically facilitate simultaneous re interactions between your students and how do you kind of keep that going? Um, what kind of role do parents play in your classroom or have parents played in your classroom? Tell us about a math lesson that you planned, prepared, and taught that had differentiation and kind of how you um, effectively established that differentiation. Um, who is a, or how did a colleague in, in influence your how did a colleague deeply influence your instruction? What are three words that a challenging student would say about you? And then um, just some other like general questions about the reader's workshop, writer's workshop um, framework and kind of what do I know about it? Why do I think it's important? And yeah, just different things like that. So much different questions but um, still generally the same kind of ideas. So, all right, I think that's gonna be all. I will talk to you guys next week. It will be the last video probably for a little while because I'll be in Australia. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's been a pretty interesting week with the two interviews and all of that, but yeah, it's been a crazy ride this whole school year and I'm really fortunate to have gotten all the opportunities that I've gotten and I'm really lucky. If you are interested in any specific topics that you want me to cover over the summer, please comment down below. Otherwise, thank you for joining me on this crazy journey through this entire school year between different sub jobs, long-term sub jobs, my two long-term sub jobs, and everything else along the way. I really appreciate all of your support. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you next week for my last video, and then later on in the summer. Bye, guys.